All right, we're done with thumbnail. So, welcome back to a brand new video. And today's review. Today's Tuesday review. Hopefully, if I didn't miss a day, um, we we're reviewing Daniel Suarez number 18, 2017, June of birth, Toyota Camry Xfinity Limited Edition Xfinity car. Wish I had a 19 of this because I need a new 19, but I'll take an 18 as well anytime. So let's open this up and see what we get. All right, so. Interesting, I am on the front of the Camry, the Toyota logo, those regular sponsors, Joe Gibbs logo, very small right there. See the 18. Left and right, so we have Goodyear, Mechanical Wear, Duralas, Canon, Simpson, Holdy, MST. Well, one NASCAR Xfinity Series with the old logo. Freightline, Lincoln, Mag Tools, whatever the other one says. The big Juniper Networks. Build more than a network. Trademark. Daniel Suarez with the Mexican flag. Got a win. Wonder what we got there. Hmm. Probably forget to edit this, but if I do remember, then I'll have to figure that out. On the top, we got 18 with Juniper. The windshields we have Xfinity and Suarez. Jackal is Juniper. Rear end, we have Juniper Toyota 18 Toyota logo. And on the hood, we have Juniper Networks building more than a network. Um, Quick note, don't know what has happened to this front. That looks like a 2013 cup front. Oh no, they've messed it up big time. That's not right. That's not even right at all. They also did some of this window right here. I don't know what they did there. And if we go over here to more building more than network, they've messed up the A on A. That's cool, but I like this design. A couple more paint chips on the 18s. I was about to go there, but, you know. Good year logos look good. Overall, it's a nice car. The orange, like, the purple blue to an orange yellow. Smooth, but, I, like, they don't even transition. They have a small transition, but I think that looks better. Maybe just add a bit more orange, because it just seems plain. I'm pretty sure the uh, 19 now, Juniper, or the 18 now, has a green and black, which is kind of interesting. I mean, when it's solid, this is about the time when quality control took a big downslide. Paint chip on the Arbor. Back and the logo, it's okay, or gas can, looks okay. This rear spoiler has always been getting at me now these last few days. Because it just doesn't look even with the um, black. Doesn't really at all. But um, that's life, I guess. Got a couple of sponsors there. Shouldn't the flag be right there? Or is that how it goes? Who knows? Um, that front end, though, is just mm, it's not good. It's not good. Let's make it my weight better here. Let's really, really take a look at that. Oh, that looks like they got it out of like a dump. That's tooling for you. I don't even think. I don't. Unless this is. I don't think. I hope this is not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be the same because it's very much not. Uh, well, I do like what they did with the uh, grill. That looks nice. That's pretty good. So detailed right there. Yeah, IndyCar is much more detailed. Gotta point that out. There's something also going on with that Juniper. There's a bunch of like... You see that the N, the I, and the P have like... I don't know what that is, but can, can anyone else just see that like that gradient? Not really, like, like, it's like little molecules, see, they're not, I mean, they're bigger than molecules, but I'm gonna call them bits, bits of dust, it looks like, that have been 
put on the car. There's also a paint chip on the feet. It's nice. I also think the uh, Build More Than a Network trademarks uh, it needs like a black outline so you can see it. Cause it like, look at that. I mean, it's blurry right now, but if it was a blurry photo, you can see it's Juniper, but you can't read that. Okay. Like it just blends in too much. If they put it on the purple, I think it'd be okay. But it just blends in too much with the, um, um, with the orange. But you, it stands out big time here. Overall smooth car though. I like this a lot. So, I gotta put the mistakes in. Wheels, they're a bit floppy as well, so we'll see. Time to give this thing a mark. Fo focus. So to give this car a review. Uh, it's from, it's from, the, from the messed up front to the paint chips. To the beginning of the down. Oh, I just realized this. Look at like the, there's literally a hole after the name to the roof. Look, anyways, okay. Well, seven point five. A seven point five. Probably one of the worst reviews. I think this is also like the first. This is like the second Suarez car I think we've had. The first one was the peak. I don't think I gave it a mark back then though. No, I didn't, but yeah, this is the second time I've reviewed one. Maybe I reviewed the subway car. I don't think I did, though. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe so you never miss another video. Remember to go check out those videos that I've shown around at the end. Don't feel like the last seven seconds of this video. So if you see that, that means you're at the end of the video. So go check those out. First video is a course. Actually, I'll probably do this at the end. But anyways, the first video will two videos is a playlist. That's where I got this diecast from. And a bit a playlist. Oh, oh. Alright, take take two. And action. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out the playlist to watch all the other diecast videos I've made. Go check out that other video. That's where I got this diecast. And go hit that subscribe button because you might as well. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys all later. I didn't mess with the outro this time. Let's go.